Television City in Hollywood, it's time for Mary. Okay, let's give it a try. I really hope you enjoy our show tonight. We have just a wonderful cast. We have terrific sets, the best lighting and costumes. And I know that when you see me singing and dancing and, well, being kind of funny, you'll be saying to yourselves, gee, what did she do to her hair? <laughs> anyway, I'm really glad you're watching and I am so glad to have a live studio audience before we go into this next number, I'd like to say something. One of my dearest friends is Ed Asner. Boy, I can still remember the time Ed auditioned for the old show. He came in with his hat in his hand. This little threadbare hat. And he said he really needed the job, that he would owe me his life. Well, with that in mind, I called Ed and I asked him if he would like to be a guest on our show. And he said, Mary, I can buy and sell you. <laughs> well, then he said he was just kidding. But he was busy filming Lou Grant. And then he begged me to use an act that he discovered. I was a little hesitant, but he said, Mary, don't be a chump. I have trained these guys. I've worked with them. They're terrific, perfect for your show. How could I turn them down? So it is with a great deal of pleasure that I present the television debut of the Ed Asner Dancers. <laughs> When the producers of the show saw me singing and dancing, the first thing they said was, real good, Mayor. The second thing was, we're gonna give you some help. So, this year, I'm gonna be surrounded by a fantastic bunch of people who'll be with me every week. And I'd like you to meet them in the same way I did, through their audition tapes. First um, is Jim Now, I'd like you to meet Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, audition tape. <laughs> to dream the impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to bear an unbearable sorrow to run where the brave dare not go yeah i guess singing is one of the things i really do great Oh, here's, listen to this. I can crack my toes, too. I guess you'll just have to take my word for that. Excuse me, this is the director. Do you dance? Pardon me? I said, do you dance? Uh, dance? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't think it's natural for a man to dance. How about comedy? Comedy? Yeah, I like it. You show me something funny, I'll laugh. <laughs> well, I'll just go home now. So, uh, I tell you, I'll tell you what, I just go home and I wait for your call, okay? I gotta get going because I gotta do some dental work on my cat. <laughs> so just leave a message. Uh, wait for the beep. Thank you. Uh, look, Mary, if, you know, if this thing doesn't work out, I don't know, maybe I can buy you a drink sometime. <laughs> Michael, 
did buy me a drink. He bought me a Coke at Jack in the Box. <laughs> Later, he cracked his toes. Great evening. <laughs> Next is David Letterman. David Letterman, audition tape. <laughs> Hi, Mary. My name's Dave Letterman. Why should you hire me? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. I know how to make your show the number one smash hit of the decade. How are we going to do that? Not with outer space buffoonery. <laughs> Sex and violence? Who needs it? Well, who needs violence, anyway? <laughs> now, Mary, you and I both know what's going to get you big, big ratings. Harp music. <laughs> I'll give you the job, rent me a harp, and every week I'll make America cry. Boy, you talk about heaven. Girl from Ipanema on a harp? You can't beat it. And finally, and perhaps the most important reason why you ought to hire me, Mary, you give me this job, I'll come out to your place on weekends and do yard work. I'm serious. only kidding about the harp music. However, our yard has never looked better. <laughs> Just 